knackered. We have just walked the longest journey in the entire world to find this ridiculous far away bridal shop. Finally made it. Da -da -da -da. I've tried on some dresses which you will either have seen before this clip or after. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to kind of lay this vlog out. I apologise if I look a little bit worse for wear. It's been a very long day. So me and my friend Sarah went to Brighton to go to Wed to Be, which is a shop that I'd wanted to go to to try on some dresses, obviously for the wedding. Um, and I'd heard good things and kind of like I've heard I heard mixed reviews through like a Facebook page that I've said that I'm a part of before on here um and I just wanted to try the, some dresses on there purely because they were more sort of like in my price range and the most expensive dress is 599 so there's nothing over 600 pounds in the like wedding it's a shop really you can't really call it like a boutique um and they had some really, really lovely dresses. The experience, I just kind of wanted to like talk about the experience. Um, it's a very odd way of shopping and it, it wasn't what I expected at all. It was very like, you kind of go there and you pick things off of the rail. It's just a really odd experience. So basically as you go in, you're greeted by somebody at the door and then you go around with the lady and she kind of talks you through 
where your dress size is and tells you kind of where and when you can stop and start um, so like within sizes so she advises that this is the size that you should look for and any of the dresses in this bracket of like section of the warehouse sort of thing um, is where the dresses are that will fit you and then you're allowed to choose four dresses and four dresses at a time is the most that you can choose and then you're given like a card with a time slot so you pick your four dresses and then you have to go and give them the dresses once obviously you've chosen them um, and then you're given a time slot of where you have to then wait in like a little seating area and then you can go and try on all of the dresses once it's your turn to and you can kind of see everybody else trying on dresses which is great entertainment if you're sitting there for a while we kind of waited for about like 35 minutes so it's great to be able to obviously see other people trying on dresses um, but then it also means at the same time that you are exposed to other people seeing you try on your dress so it was very kind of like Americanized where you're in a big room and everybody can kind of see you trying things on um, I didn't really mind because we made friends with some of the ladies that were waiting as well so it wasn't too bad you didn't feel kind of like too pressured but I think if I didn't feel if you're not the kind of person that feels comfortable with trying on dresses or anything like that in front of other people then you might not like that um, obviously you do put the actual dress on in the fitting room but then you come out to show the people that are waiting for you what it looks like so if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to show off or it's not even that just to kind of be on show um, then I would definitely say that Wed to Be probably isn't the place for you they had some stunning dresses and I tried on some really really lovely ones I really really loved one of the dresses in particular I'm just not too sure if I will get my dress from there it just felt a little bit I don't know it just felt almost like you bought the dress and that was it there was no kind of like wedding experience with it and with all of the dress shops that I've tried on so far there's been like a really good experience with them and you just feel like you kind of build like a rapport with them and it's just nice to know that your kind of your dress is in safe hands and the dress that you're ordering is pretty much kind of like custom made for you and I just felt like you kind of didn't really get that my camera just cut out on me so I'm not really too sure what I was saying um, but yeah, I think I was just saying that I would prefer to have a little bit more of an experience and build a little bit of a rapport with the person that I'm buying my dress from. And I just, yeah, I just felt like it was really interesting to go there and try dresses on. And it's definitely narrowed down the dress style that I want to go for. Um, so that's good. And I feel like I've definitely got to a point where I feel comfortable with what I'm looking for from now onwards. I just need to go and try more on I guess in that sort of style. So basically just kind of wanted to fill you in on what it's like to kind of go to Wed to Be and show you like a little bit of experience from the day. And I am now currently sat on the sofa watching Say Yes to the Dress just because I feel like I'm so obsessed with dresses today. And now I can't get it out of my head that I just want to go and try more. And watching this just fuels that excitement for me even more. So yeah, Sam's gone out for a few drinks with his friend. Um, who's also getting married the same year as us, I think. I'm not really too sure. So I'm sure that they'll probably discuss wedding stuff. Along with all of the other things that boys chat about. And probably get really drunk. So I'm going to chill this evening. Watching some more Say Yes to the Dress. And probably edit this video for you all. So I hope that you enjoyed watching. Kind of a little bit of a try dresses on with me. Um, it was a little bit of a kind of like informal vlog. And I wasn't too sure kind of what I was going to show you. But this is it so I hope that you enjoyed it and I'm sure that I will take you along with more little dress try on shopping trips see you all soon and good night